What is up lads, how's it going, how are you getting on, and welcome back to the channel. Game week 19 is still in play, but with some news of some extra fixtures in game week 20, it's time to start planning ahead for the double game week. In this video, we'll be looking at my game week 19 review, along with my transfer plans and team selection ahead of double game week 20. Before we get into the video, 73% of my viewers aren't actually subscribed to the channel, so if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do hit that subscribe button. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. We start the game week review at Brentford, with my Liverpool duo involved. The game week could have started off perfectly, when Salah played Nunes true on goal only for his goal bound effort to be blocked on the line by Ben Mee. It didn't get much better for Nunes in the second half when he had a goal ruled out for offside and he picked up a yellow card. He's been a frustrating player to own since the restart and with double gaming for other teams I may need to consider what to do with Salah and himself. With Martinelli and Trippier in my team, I wasn't sure what to hope for, so a nil-nil draw was probably the right outcome for the two high-owned players. Trippier continued in his outrageous form with a clean sheet and two bonus points. I had one eye on the Arsenal game and another one on the Fulham game. Let's see how my captain Mitrovic got on. The Fulham game started off with a mini heart attack when Mitrovic stayed down after an Ndidi challenge. Thankfully, the Serb picked himself up and managed to get on the score sheet for a well-needed return after putting my bets against Haaland this week. Unfortunately, Mitrovic got his yellow in the second half. That'll see him miss out in the Chelsea game Thursday. Rashford and Shaw soften the Mitrovic blow with them both scoring and combining for a 23 point return from the United duo. I wasn't going to bring in Shaw this week but with the chance of a United double in game week 20 I took the risk and thankfully it paid off massively. This 15 point haul could be the difference in me getting a top 10k spot at the end of the season so I'll be thinking back to this moment if it does. On the Thursday's game and it was a disappointing watch with my three players involved blanking. It was definitely a nervous watch not captain in Haaland but thankfully he stayed quiet which meant giving Mitrovic the airman was the right decision. Kinsella was hooked off at half time which meant he missed out in the City clean sheet. I need to consider what to do with him now after he's had some poor returns in the last few weeks. Kepa should have done a lot better also for the Maras winner so it was a frustrating night all round. All of these returns led to me scoring 53 points so far this game week with Kepa Andreas left to play. I've currently got a 10k red arrow and I'm now sitting at 263k overall but I'm hoping Kepa and Andreas can turn it into a green. Looking ahead to game week 20 the big news yesterday was the confirmation that United and Palace will have a double game week in game week 20. That means that there are now four teams doubling this week with United, City, Spurs and Palace all having two fixtures. Looking at other potential double gamings around the corner, Brighton could face either Bournemouth or Palace, Chelsea could face Liverpool and Arsenal could be playing Everton. These teams have a free midweek in game week 21 so that's the reason for the potential double game week but they could also move later on the season when there is less fixture congestion. United have a chance of doubling again in game week 22 if themselves or Leeds don't draw their FA Cup fourth round tie. Leeds still have to make through the third round so it adds an additional chance of the double happening that week. We also need to keep in mind the blank game weeks that will be happening in a few weeks time. In game week 25 whatever teams make it to the EFL Cup final will miss out this week. Similar to game week 28 any teams that reach the quarterfinals of the FA Cup they'll have to sit out game week 28. With City Dublin this week, I've got a lot of questions about when it's the best time to use a triple captain chip. I think we can all agree that Hallow will be getting the triple captain at some stage this season. Looking at City's potential doubles, they have a tough game week 20 facing United and Spurs, which puts me off giving them the triple captain this week. They have at least one nice fixture in game week 23 facing Villa at home, which potentially could mean he gets the triple captain here. However, if City reach the EFL Cup final, they will have a double game week that includes a fixture against Bournemouth, so I think the sensible play is to wait for this chance if they do get to the final. Looking ahead to my own team, here's the potential moves I'm planning ahead of the double game week. With City's double, a popular move amongst managers would be transferring Salah to Kevin De Bruyne. You could argue both players are out of form at the moment, but with the additional fixture for City in game week 20 and game week 23, I think it's a sensible move to bring in the Belgian. If I make the move to De Bruyne, I have the exact funds to move for Kane for a minus 4, which is very tempting. Kane is back in form at the moment, but I also need to be wary, because if he picks up a yellow against Arsenal, he'll miss the City game. I think it's a risk worth taking with how poor Nunes is at the moment. I have the exact funds for these players, but I'll be trying to wait as long as possible before I make these moves. We could get more information before the deadline about other teams Dublin so it's definitely worthwhile holding my transfers in case we get this news. However if it looks like Salah or Darwin are going to drop in price or Kane or De Bruyne will go up in price I think I'll be locking in these moves for my first hit of the season. With Kinsella looking to be out of favour at the moment with City I've been receiving a lot of DMs this week about what to do with him. If you don't have Shaw he's your man to get for Kinsella. As I'm already taking a minus 4 I can't justify taking another minus 4 to get rid of Kinsella. I'm predicting he starts at least one game over the double so that's enough for me to keep him this week and I can reassess what to do with him in game week 21. Looking ahead to game week 20, here's some tips you should take note of before locking in your moves. With City's double, Salah to De Bruyne will be a popular move this week. I'd advise on holding your transfers until before the deadline. If double game week 21 is going ahead, we should know about this before the game week 20 deadline. United should have another double game week in 22, so try to get their players in now so you can have them for the double this week and their potential double in 22. 
I definitely recommend being patient with your chips usage. There'll be better times throughout the season to use them compared to this week. Five double gimme players is plenty this week. And don't forget, the deadline is at 6.30 on Friday. If I do end up moving for De Bruyne and Kane, here's how my potential lineup will be for this week. Kepa and goals, Trippier, Sean Cancelo in defence, De Bruyne, Almiron, Martinelli and Rashford in midfield, and Kane, Mitrovic and Haaland up top. This means I'll have five double gimme players, which is great cover on the doubles ahead of this week. Looking at captain C, with two fixtures for City, there's no debate on the armband this week. Haaland had his rest in the FA Cup against Chelsea so he should be well rested for the Manchester Derby on Saturday morning. The only question is whether or not to triple captain him but with better fixtures for City later on the season I think it's good enough just to captain him and save the triple captain for another game week. As mentioned previously I'll be waiting until closer to the deadline to see if we get any news on more double game weeks before I make my moves. Don't forget to follow me at FPL Era on Twitter and Instagram where I'll post my locked in team before the deadline. If you've made it to the end of the video please drop a comment below, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'll see you all on friday afternoon for a deadline stream there you have it there's my gamey 20 team best of luck for gamey 20 i'll see you in the next video <laughs>